Hey guys, welcome back to Mechanicus. Uh, I think before I take on uh, Maylob, I want to do the secret mission just to get uh, some more Blackstone so we can do a few more upgrades, whether it's getting Oriochus uh, up to up to having overcharged cognition or if we're going to go for Ortitius and get Ortitius up to rights of range. So I think that will be the plan. So let's go down here for the secret mission. Uh, I'm hoping it should be reasonably easy. Find the Necron Relic. Xenobiologist Tiresis, a brilliant young tech priest, has requested the retrieval of a Necron Relic from the tomb of Agrilek. Its inscription should help illuminate the mysteries of the Necron language. Okay. Not sure what they mean by servitor easy. But this doesn't look too bad. So let's get into this and then yeah, hopefully we can get a good amount of blackstone out of this. Gonna take all of our tech priests of course and we'll take two servitors. Happy with the canticles for now. Oh, here we go. Cataphron battle servitor. Cost three cognition points to deploy. Uh, single target range attack upon hitting target turns into a circle area attack that passes through units and walk. Okay. Interesting. Uh, Alright, uh, let's get started then. Not sure I want to bring uh, one of these. Magos, I've not probably expressed my gratitude for bringing me on this mission. It's an opportunity to study these aliens up close. We are rarely afforded such a chance. I do not bring you as a favor, Tiresis. A Magos does not grant favors even to those he has mentored in person. Your xenolinguistic skills could be relevant in ascertaining any threat on Silver Tenebrous. I understand. You will not find me wanting. I do not expect to. I trained you myself. Lord Magos, a moment of your time, if I may. Xenobiologist Tiresis, I return gladness you were able to accompany this mission. The Necrons lack traditional biology for you to study, but I feel there will be much opportunity for learning. And I would like to start right away. The place known as the Tomb of Agrilek has a particular relic that I feel would greatly benefit my studies. It is covered in inscriptions that will surely help illuminate the ways of the Necron. Seeking the relics of the Xenos is a perilous path to set out on. I shall ensure the relic is fully quarantined. If it proves to be anything but inert, I shall destroy it. Your request will be considered Xenobiologist. I can promise you no more. Scout reports from the tomb of Agrilek mention an inscribed monolith-like object. It is very large, so its location must be fully secured before labor servitors can move it out of the tomb. Hence your need for my tech priests to secure it. The Skitari scouts have found a lot more than your artifact in their Xenobiologist. The tomb of Agrilek is definitely hostile, there are enemy contacts everywhere. I am aware of how valuable our tech priests are. I would not undertake this if I did not think the potential for learning is worth the risk to them. I concur. Advance immediately, Kepra. Yes, Magos. The will of Mars be done. Okay. The first seal. So we've got deployment number 33. Oh. Okay. That's very interesting. We only have one objective, but there are a lot of fights it seems. Wow, okay, there's one, two, three, four, four, four fights and one objective, which presumably is also a fight. Uh, okay then, I guess the optimal path is to go here for this event, take out this uh, 
this particular um, awakening reduction room then we go to these two then we can backtrack and make our way over here uh, if nothing else this should yield quite a lot of blackstone just for the number of of enemies we should be killing and presumably there will be terminals that we can collect blackstone from as well so that's going to be pretty nice and with four four of these rooms presumably we can manage to keep the awakening level at zero which would be really nice assuming these are the same as the other awakening reduction rooms we got in previous missions okay that's uh, very interesting uh, i think for this episode we'll do two fights if the two fights go quickly we can probably do the third fight a third fight and then we'll end the episode there and then we'll head into uh the next episode and do the final uh, final encounter awakening reduction fight and then do the do the mission objective so that's the plan moving forward i think uh, let's get started by going to this particular event This place has a sinister aspect. Perhaps there is something to be found here, but tread carefully, Magos. The chamber ahead is a huge hangar-like space containing several large glossy blackstone obelisks. Though each is featureless, they must have some symbolic pur purpose. Attempt to booby trap the obelisks, uh, topple the obelisks, wary. I think I want wary because, well, we need the CP. Move through the obelisk chamber carefully, keeping watch for any sign of danger. And because we have zero CP, if this ends up being a negative CP um, uh, result, then we shouldn't lose any. Okay, we got three CP. That's good. The cohort traverses the chamber through the crushing silence. They are not attacked and the obelisks remain inactive. They note, however, the presence of engraving tools near some of the obelisks, suggesting they are to be inscribed soon, perhaps with the results of the Adeptus Mechanicus assault on the tombs. Okay, so let's get started with this first room. Okay, kill all enemies. Oh, there's one enemy down here, the warrior. There, oh right, this is this particular uh, map. That's fine. There's one terminal here, and there's some pillars. Yeah, that's okay. I think we'll be fine. This shouldn't be too difficult. Uh, Ortitius got initiative to go first, apparently. Manarius, Oriochus, let's put Manarius in, in here. Uh, Manarius can go in here. Who's next? Uh, Leonardus, go over here, I suppose. Titius, okay. Jeremiah can step back. Ortitius can move here and then we'll put Tor in there. Okay, Oriochus, Leonardus, Manarius, and Ortitius. Okay, that's that should be okay. Let's get started. That's fine. Oh, okay, I thought they were gonna take a shot, but I guess not. That's okay. Let's move up here. Shoot it. Okay. Uh, let's use Cognition Freedom. We can use that next turn. I think this should be fine. Let's end the turn here. Okay. Uh, 
let's use the heavy arc rifle. We hit two other guys, which is quite nice. Uh, yeah, so let's do that. Okay, it didn't quite hit this warrior over there. I guess we'll use the servo skull and pick up the two cognition points over here. Deny them to the acanthrite, which is what you want. Let's use cognition freedom. I guess we might be able to charge up. Okay, so this is the immortal. Okay, let's just hit it. Nice crit. Alright. Who's next? Leonardus Oriocus. Okay. Hmm. Do we use overcharged cognition? Yes, I think we do. We can only fit four people on this platform. Okay. Alright, no damage, perfect. Ah, uh, Leonardus. Yeah, I guess Leonardus will go over here, that's fine. Uh, let's use Cognition Freedom. Use the Blaster, no we don't want to do that. One to two? Alright, let's do that then. Uh, yeah, okay, let's... Do we wanna... Ah, oh, no, there's no point collecting another. Yeah, no, there's no point collecting another cognition point. We don't really need it that badly. Okay, let's go up here. We'll use the Volkite Blaster. Okay. Nice. And I think with Oriokas we can just walk our way up there. Uh, let's see. We can shoot three to four. No, we don't want to do that. Okay, it repaired the terminal. That's fine. Here comes the Acanth, right? much damage? Two damage. Alright. Fair enough. Uh, let's cleanse ourselves of the poison. Uh, okay. Use Cognition Freedom. Let's charge up the Vitamin Culverin. Attack it and get a kill. We can. Perfect. Okay, let's just walk up there. This should not be an issue. Let's end the turn here. Got an auto repair, which is nice. Uh, yeah, let's do cognition freedom as well. Eradication Ray. Yeah, let's do it. Heavy Arc Rifle. Uh, yeah, let's shoot this. Still. 
still alive. Okay, that's fine. Okay, these guys are gonna uh, head over to the other side. That's fine. Let's end the turn. Ah, uh, yep. Yeah, let's continue. These guys end up over here, which is perfect. The immortal will move. Okay, it's gonna shoot. Yep. Damage absorbed. Perfect. And we get a cognition point too, which is nice. Uh, Ortitious. Yep, perfect. Let's get as much blackstone as we can. We can use the. Yep, plasma cauldron. This will get rid of the terminal, which is nice. Kills the cryptic, presumably. Yep. Perfect. Okay. And now we can take it out with the Infestus Mechadendra, right? which is perfect. Uh, okay. Let's see. Let's get rid of the corpse. And I think we can just end the turn here. Uh, this guy over here. We can get the shot off. Uh, so let's do it. Okay, and that's it. Ooh, okay, we're not quite full. Not quite full, but we got enough to... No, oh, we're only two off the maximum, so that's good enough. Reduce the tracker by four. We got 63 black zone and a bit of healing. All right. Okay, let's go straight into the next one. Another kill all enemies, that's fine. One terminal. Okay, that's not too bad. This should be easily doable. Uh, Alright, let's see. Ortitious can go here. Uh, we have Minarius next. Go here. Leonardus. Go here. Oriochus. And then Jeremiah. And of course, Torth is. A bit further back. Okay. Where's Jeremiah? Alright, that works. So we have two CP over here, two CP over there. Okay. Ah, uh, that should be pretty easy to deal with. Yeah, so let's get started. Since this is a kill all enemies, this should be reasonably quick. Oh, I'm stuck there. Whoops. Put him in the wrong spot. Oh well. That's fine. It is what it is. Uh, okay. Was a bit of a mistake on my part. Let's just pop Cognition Freedom. And end the turn. Uh, Minarius. Let's just straight up uh, do the scan. If we really want to, we could do, we could hit over here, or over there. First of all, let's use Cognition Freedom. Uh, taking out the terminal will give us, put us back to uh, no section on the tracker, so let's do that. Maybe I should have tried to line up this warrior as well, actually. Okay. Uh, 
let's see. Yeah, that'll hit. All right. Yeah, that's perfect. Let's do it. Okay. Yeah, let's move over here. And we'll take two cognition points from back here. Alright, let's end the turn. Who oh okay. That's quite far away. I messed up the selection of my troops there, I guess. really hit anyone. Okay. Let's pop cognition freedom. Uh, all cognition points? Yeah, let's take that. And I think we'll just end the turn here. Oriochus. Okay. Don't seem to be able to get eyes on anyone really, except maybe the Acanth, right? So I guess that's what we're doing. Bit of a, a bit annoying with the uh, current uh, line of sight, but I guess I didn't set up quite as well. So it is what it is. Yeah, let's just keep shooting it. And it's gone. Perfect. Alright. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's end the turn. Okay, this guy's walking over. Is he gonna shoot? He's gonna shoot. Okay. Damage absorbed, not a problem. That's perfect. Jeremiah. Let's get out over here. Okay. Uh, Alright. Let's use Cognition Freedom. I think we can hit. No, we can't reach. Alright, never mind then. Let's just go ahead and hit the cryptic. Surely it kills the cryptic. Yep. Good. Okay, and now we'll shoot the gamma pistol. Uh, okay. I think that's all we can do right now. Yeah, let's heal up. This will put us on full hit points. Uh, okay. You, oh yeah, we can get in range to shoot over here. Use Cognition Freedom. Eradication Ray, very nice. Okay, and we'll use the arc rifle. Perfect. Got a crit to just get rid of the corpse. Uh, okay, so we get one more turn. Ah, uh, that's fine. We use the cognition. Uh, a refill. End the turn. We move one along the tracker, which is fine. Don't need to do anything. All right, let's move in here. And Plasma Cauldron should take this guy out, probably. No, not quite, that's fine. Let's 
still going. That's okay. And we'll, we will be done now. Surely. Yep. Perfect. There we go. Everyone healed for 2 HP. Tracker down by 4 again. And we've got 59 black stuff. Just perfect. So I guess we can keep going. Uh, haven't. Yeah. The two, these two missions went pretty quickly. So that's fine. We can do one more. And I guess because I didn't realize there were these secret missions. Uh, the fights aren't actually too difficult. Even though there are quite a few fights it seems. So that's fine. Uh, yeah. Okay, so let's get started on this. Uh, this particular fight. Scan or destroy, okay. Alright, so it's just that one terminal as well. And this is a familiar, um, familiar room or map. Portitia seems to be getting a lot of initiative, which is quite interesting. Okay, Leonardus go here. And then everyone else can line up behind. Arius, uh, where's Jeremiah? This is Jeremiah, okay. Monarius can go up there. Jeremiah goes here. And we'll just charge out into the middle. And we can fan out with two of our shooters. That should be fine, I think. We don't even really need to destroy this terminal. I reckon we can do most of our damage with, in one round. So let's see how that goes. Okay, Ortitius has Plasma Pulverin, perfect. Let's go up here. Pop Cognition Freedom, as usual. Ah, uh, yep. Uh, let's do... Do we hit? No, we can't reach the uh, terminal, so that's fine. We'll do this. Hit two of them, which is nice. Okay. Alright, let's just end the turn here then. Uh, okay, Monarius can go over here. Okay, we'll pop Cognition Freedom, of course. And let's see, can we take them out without hitting our own guy? Yes. So let's do that. Perfect. Let's get rid of these guys straight up. Okay, get rid of the corpse too, it's perfect. And I guess we can start heading down this way. Yeah. Let's burn a CP and we'll get we'll go pick up two CP. Tops us off back to full. And we'll end the turn. Okay, one damage is fine, not worried about that at all. Okay, Leonardus. 
Leonardus can step forward and use cognition freedom, of course, and we'll try and take take out this uh, this guy. I think it's an immortal, isn't it? Yeah, it is. So that's good. We'll try and focus him down. Uh, we do hit the terminal, but not enough damage to destroy it, so that's okay. Out of range. Uh, let's charge forward. Okay, 14. And this is fine. Oh, okay. To kill all enemies. That's okay. I'm down for that. Four damage. Okay. Uh, so let's just drop back. All cognition points. Yeah, let's pick up two. And we'll end the turn. Let's see. Oriochus. Just charge all the way up here. Definitely use Cognition Freedom. Energy Enhancer as well. And this should eliminate it. And this will also eliminate the terminal, which is perfect. Very nice. Uh, yeah, let's collect the the cognition point and get rid of the corpse. Probably don't need to do that, but it is. That's fine. And let's see if we can take out the the crypt. Mission freedom, of course. Ooh, slightly out of range. Uh, yep, yeah, let's just step forward. And we should be able to do some nice damage to it. The cryptic, that is. Okay. Torth. Alright. In turn, Torth does have overcharged cognition. Which is good. Ah, uh, okay. Let's use cognition freedom. Let's see. Does this kill it? Might actually kill it. Yeah, it does. Okay. Ah, oh, that's fine though. Uh, okay. We got two stacks of blackstone, which is nice. We're back down to zero. Let's uh, just backtrack our way over here. Okay, actually I think what we can do is we'll explore this room and then we'll backtrack and hit over here just to see what this event does because if this is another awakening reduction room which it looks like it is uh, we can afford to go here and do this because there'll be at least one terminal so let's do that let's check out this particular um, room and what we get out of it I have never heard of a spiritual nature to Necron existence before. Please, Magos, investigate further. Caution, Magos. 
Young Tiresias has not had the grounding in scripture I have. Whole volumes are de dedicated to the perils of seeking to understand the nature of the Xenos. I can quote them in their entirety, should you wish. Okay, signs of Necron philosophy or even religion cover this chamber's walls. Images of outsized figures with halos of crackling energy appear among the suns and stars, as if the Necrons are trying to illustrate beings of vast power. Well, we don't want scornful, because I don't like these rewards. Examine and record the inscriptions only gives a CP, or takes away CP. Attempt to remove some of the panels for further research back on the Castus Metallican. Which is, I think, what we want to do, because we'll get Blackstone, and then we'll get CP, hopefully. And even if we lose CP, I'm okay with it, because we're getting Blackstone. So let's do that. Yep, 3 CP, 59 Blackstone. The cohort removes some of the more portable panels. Not only will they grant valuable intelligence on the Necrons, but they are also made with rare and valuable materials that can be repurposed once the panels have been fully examined. Okay, so we're up to 8 Cognition points now. 660 Blackstone is also very nice. Okay, let's fall back here. And this is probably a good place to end the episode. Uh, we did some 3 quick fights because I think we're, we're a bit um, over-geared and over-leveled sort of for this particular mission. Purely because, as I said earlier, I didn't know this existed. Uh, so, this was probably something we could have tackled earlier had I known about it. But, uh, we know about it now. And so, I think this is a good place to end the episode. And in the next episode, we'll uh, do uh, these two uh, rooms to finish this mission off. Uh, so, once again, thanks to the viewer that... Um, commented about the secret missions i really appreciate that uh among the other hints and tips that you uh include in your comment as well so i uh, really appreciate that uh for now i think this is a good place to end the episode and i'll catch you guys in the next one when we finish this mission off see you guys then